All right, guys, today we're going to tackle a question that I get all the time. Which is better, Cosmic Eclipse or Team Up? Let's check them out. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean. You're in the Poke Vault. We are using... Oh, I forgot to uh, mention... Uh, hi, uh, this isn't Sean. I'm a professional uh, Poke YouTube part-time creator. And please let's hit the subscribe button. And down below and hit the bells for notifications so you don't miss another episode so today guys we're going to be looking at the difference between cosmic eclipse and team up and i'm going to be answering the question of which one i like more which is going to be really hard if i had to choose uh i need to do a little bit of a deeper dive into these artworks i need to look at the the set in general and i get the question a lot of which one would you invest in more team up or cosmic i have an answer to that question after kind of looking at this in general but i want to go and look at the artworks with you guys so we, maybe we can make an educated decision ourselves so let's start with cosmic eclipse cosmic eclipse has just absolute eaters as far as i'm concerned for artwork these artworks are just beautiful and my goodness is rosa just looking very nice this morning i must say i know the emojis that i'm gonna see down in the comments so yeah she she one of those thick ones if you know what i'm saying you'll see the emojis down in the comments trust me our members will not let you down so check the comments below also you have the braxton and charizard this was a very sought after card i've never pulled it myself uh unfortunate but there is still time because we're still going to be opening up more cosmic eclipse on the channel and yeah and and you guys love it for the live yes! so we're always going to be opening it up you know what i mean also we have the full art arceus dialga and palkia and this is like that alternate art uh type of format this card is just man is this thing beautiful i don't know i don't know what to say about this card other than there is just so much happening there this is that thing again that i was talking about with the depth in the card what you guys are going to start seeing a lot more and more with these artworks especially in alternate arts you're going to see all this depth in this little tiny window of a card and i'm a huge fan of it you know it doesn't always hit the way that it should man but when it does it looks so good lily's full force that's another that's another heater moving down here you see the blastoise and piplup looking up you can see a common theme here the common theme is that the artwork is cracked when the artwork is good and pokemon is using fan favorite pokemon which they already know what that is that just like we have analytics on our channel and you know we know what people like and don't like that pokemon knows which pokemon people like and don't like believe me trust me on that so this is a natural mashup that they did. Blastoise and Piplup, you just got to love the artwork. It is freaking beautiful, and the price shows it. So that's another card that I think is just so gorgeous. And this might be a stroll down memory lane for you guys. You guys are probably saying, some of you are probably saying, dang, Cosmic Eclipse is freaking cracked. And that's going to go into my selection at the end of the video of which set I'm going to be throwing my money into. And we're going to be actually putting that into play in a real way. So this is another one, Solgaleo and Lunala, another just beautiful tag team artwork. I mean, just the mashups on this, another one. This one doesn't have insane depth, but there is a lot going on here. You, you, just, lo you just love to see this artwork. It's just, just gorgeous. And here's another one, you got red and blue. This is a tag team trainer full art. Once again, just absolutely wrecked it in a positive way when it comes to the artwork and just the overall presentation. I love it. I, I literally love it. One thing that I would have liked to see in the background, this could have been blue just because there's red and blue. If you guys are a fan of the original manga, blue is obviously blue. And then there was, there was also a lady that was a part of the trio, which was green. So that was a little bit confusing for me. Like I feel like this should have been blue, but maybe they just changed it because they thought it was more appealing. I don't know. And maybe it would have, it would have, uh, kind of not contrasted well with his shirt. I'm sure they look at that, that kind of stuff, but I'm kind of like that weirdo where if it's red and blue, I want to see the backgrounds as red and blue. So I don't know who knows, but who the hell am I to even be, you know, making a critique on that, whatever. Also guys, this is just a generic character rare guys, and it is selling for $40. Can you tell me of a more iconic snapshot this ties it all in together the manga this ties in the cartoon from when we were kids of ash's first 
Pokemon when he wakes up late and Oak is, has already given off the other three starters, right? I don't know if you can really embody a more perfect snapshot of just the TCG in general and then the first time when Red meets Pikachu or Ash, right? Because Ash is the embodiment of Red in the cartoon. So this is just... I don't know what else to say. It's a, it's a beautiful artwork. I I'm, I love that card. I obviously own it. Uh, and yeah, it'll be with me forever. I just love the card. So here's a hyper rare of Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. Beautiful. I want to look at this card in particular. This card for me, I don't know what it is, but man, does this thing just jump off the page. It is a Reshram and Zekrom full art tag team card and man does this thing just do it right he is looking down at whoever it is that he's fighting he's like listen if you did not come with some mythical beast to this battle i am going to wipe you off of the earth and he's got like the two pokemon behind them it is just it's just beautiful i love this card i love this artwork i i really want to own that that's my next uh, card that I'm going to try to pick up and I'm just going to talk about one more in here and it's not because it's really expensive guys or anything like that but this card I just this again this goes back to that nostalgic feel where it's like Professor Oak take your take your pick I think this is more of a play on the original Nintendo games where this is the first big decision that you get to make in the game and they kind of embodied that in a card and I love to see that I this isn't an expensive card but it is it, but it just it just touches on that nostalgic feel, you know, and that means something to me when it comes to collecting also. All right. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go back here and let's check out Team Up. So as you, as you know, or whether you, or maybe you don't know, Team Up is shooting through the roof in value. And maybe let's try to find out why. So right off the rip, we know that there's the Latios and Latias kind of, you know, this would be like considered an alternate art in my in my opinion. It's a full art tag team card. This thing is beautiful. Uh, this got, this card got passed up a lot when this first set first came out. People were not super crazy about it, but I think it's become a little bit of a cult classic. It's been shooting up in value left and right. I mean, look, it's it's over two hundred dollars. Sometimes this happens with these cards. You know, you just never know. You never know what someone's gonna latch onto emotionally or you know metaphysically and just want to collect for their own collection. And then moving on, you have Magikarp and Whale Lord right here. Just a beautiful artwork. I think it's just a gorgeous looking artwork. Also, obviously, rarity takes uh, you know takes precedence in these prices too. It is really hard to pull that Latios and Latios card. I've never done it. So this for me is one of my favorites in this entire set. And this is the Gengar and Mimikyu. Just a beautiful mashup in a tag team full art card. I love the artwork. They made Gengar kind of look a little bit kind of more stretched out and not as plumpy and it just looks I just love it Gengar always has that sinister look on him and Mimikyu looks freaked out and if you don't know Mimikyu is actually down here this is a this is a fake that's up here but Mimikyu you can see the two dots right here on the eyes and he's just kind of like looking over the text like is it safe to, is it safe to come out I love this card it's beautiful uh not much more to say other than I wish I owned this card but one day we will we will own all the Gengars one day uh, let's see. Moving on, they did a nice little mashup with Pikachu and Zekrom, and Pikachu's just kind of like chilling on Zekrom's arm, like, "Hey, make your move, make your move, dude, make your move." Uh, again, Gengar, just, just my favorite. I mean, you see Gengar all over my all over my spot right here. Uh, the colors of the channel are, are purple and pink, which is you know, which also goes with, with with the Gengar theme. I mean, that's all intentional. My literally one of my favorite Pokemon, if not my favorite Pokemon, is Gengar. So, yeah. Also, guys, you see a lot of you see a lot of trainer full arts right here. I think again, the nostalgia feel. We all remember the Sabrina episode where Ash goes to fight Sabrina, and she's like this troubled child. Dad's gone. Mom's you know in the playhouse. She destroyed like she shrunk her mom. I mean, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. But this is from like the original cartoon, and this is also a nostalgia feel. And yeah, they have an epic battle. It was like a two episode battle. Ash finally beats him, reunites them. I mean, Ash was just doing the most back in the day. Let's let, let's just be real. Two final cards I want to that I want to touch on are actually on the same row here. This this hyper rare Latios and Latias. This is another one that is just a freaking simple yet beautiful artwork. 
That is a common theme. Obviously, the money is going to follow the artwork. These ca these cards are cracked out of their minds. The artworks are just beautiful. Snorlax and Eevee, uh, shout out on this card. This thing is beautiful. Notable mention for sure. But the last card that I wanted to talk about was this one right here. I like this card even almost more than the hyper rare version just because I can see all the colors and they're kind of outlined. This card is freaking gorgeous. I love this thing. Another card that will stay in my collection forever. I didn't pull it, but I was lucky enough to acquire it. Uh, and yeah, this just does it all. Again, very, very simple, but very effective. Artwork is just beautiful. Nothing else to say on this. I just love it. And what I would really, really like to see uh, Pokemon do in the in the near future is make me an alternate art for Gengar. I want to see Gengar in an alternate art. Some sick, you know, he's in like a he's in like a haunted castle and he's just creepy. Or maybe you know what a cool alternate art would be is like Gengar, Haunter, and Ghastly, and a recreation scene of when they're in that castle and they're downstairs and they're little, in their little playroom and they're playing. It looks like a little mini circus if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll put a picture up on the screen. But that would be a cool recreation for an alternate art also because that would be nostalgic. It would be cool and it would be awesome to see them reimagine that artwork. So yeah, guys, final thoughts on these two sets. I'm going to tell you which one I would pick specifically. I think Team Up has experienced a lot of upward movement as far as value is concerned. They are very close and tied for me when it comes to artwork. But I'm going to make my choice based off of a more rational mental financial type of choice and i'm going to pick cosmic eclipse because i think cosmic once they started reprinting a couple of the packs and you started seeing cosmic back in contemporary product it brought down the cost of cosmic a little bit i think you're going to see cosmic shoot through the roof and for that reason as far as investing goes i'm going to pick cosmic eclipse as my choice between these two sets because it's so close so i'm going to make my choice based off of money uh rather than overall appeal even though i think it's very split and very close because i could see myself loving both of these sets for all different reasons so yeah that's my choice cosmic eclipse pro tip get some all right guys that's going to be it for me i hope you enjoyed today's episode i'm going to see you guys on the next live event or episode peace out hey, what's up guys if you want to see a video that i think that you might like after watching what you just watched Click the button right here. And if you want to be one of those people that want to subscribe to the channel and see how far this rabbit hole goes, the button's right here. Do it!